So today we're going to go through and answer some of the questions that uh, were sent in by some of the people on Facebook and Twitter. Um, AJ sent out a tweet last week. If you guys have more questions, uh, you can. we'll put links to our Twitter and our Facebook. Um, send us all the questions. We're going to try and do this fairly regularly if uh, everybody's interested. Um, so we'll start here, uh, let AJ, he's just on the other side of the camera so you can't see him, but he uh, read out some of the questions and we'll do our best to give you guys some answers. Uh, Ryan Bird asks, uh, screw piles or concrete piles and why? So the biggest thing with screw piles and concrete piles um, is you have to figure out the difference between um, the load. So a, a concrete pile is what they call a friction pile. The idea is that the friction on the side of the wall is what keeps it from sinking, not so much the base. Um, a helical pile, um, what, what they call a screw pile is really a helical pile and what keeps it from uh, for moving up and down is the actual helical space on the bottom. It's a big flat plate on the bottom that screws in. Um, so depending on the application, a lot of times helical piles are a lot less expensive because you don't have to order a concrete truck. If you've only got one or two piles going in, you're going to pay for a full concrete truck regardless of whether you need all the concrete or not. So one of the reasons a lot more people are going to helical piles nowadays is because of that cost factor. A guy can come in with a bobcat, zip in a couple of helical piles, and they'll carry all the load. The one thing everybody needs to understand with helical piles is they have a engineered rating. So when you say quality, um, you know which is better, it, it really depends on the application. And you also have to make sure that your helical pile is designed to carry the load and that it's also designed to go deep enough to get below the frost line. So helical piles are cheaper especially if you're only doing uh, you know two or three of them. Um, concrete piles aren't necessarily better. Uh, they can be better and they can actually be more cost effective especially if you're doing um, you know 10 or 15 piles. Hopefully that gives some answer to the question. 